Hello friends, my name is Steve and today in this exciting continuation of our 15 days of DaVinci 15, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the new LUT browser edition. So many people are very excited about this feature, including me. So we'll hop in and take a look. So the first thing we do is in the color page, in order to access it, we go to our LUTs page. You see now we get all these great previews. You might be thinking, Theo, this is great, but I want to see my footage in the previews. Well, that's pretty easy to do. You can just right click, update thumbnail with timeline frame, and there you get it right there. But if that's too slow for you, you can still just hover over the clip and see a preview right in line with it. And you can notice right now that our previews automatically make the preview like it's appending a node to the end of the graph. Because right now I have a selection made, but the LUT is being applied to the whole clip. So that is a handy thing to know if you're looking for that. Now I know the next thing you're thinking, Theo, that's great, but I only have these default LUTs. I don't have any of your cool LUTs. Misumedia.com slash product type in resolve 15 at checkout 50% off. Okay, here's how you add some LUTs. So... You can just go to right click, open file location, and then it will open up a new window for you where all of your LUTs are stored. And then you can take any sort of LUTs that you downloaded and go ahead and click and drag those on top and it copies them right over nice and quick. Now they don't appear yet because you need to just refresh. So Resolve can check and see that, yep, there are new LUTs in there. If you go over here, you can see, whoa, all sorts of stuff. Very cool. Nice, I like that. That's dope. It's dark. So now that you have your LUTs imported, you might want to make some favorites, right? So I know some of my favorites. We've got Cool Shadows 08. I use that all the time in order to get this so you don't have to always click through. And so you can have your favorite LUTs right next to each other. You can right click, add to favorites. And if you click on favorites, you get a whole folder full of stuff right there. So we've got that one from that. And then also, you know, house LUTs, I've got the Brett's Bold Day which I use a lot, add to favorites, and we'll do the Rec. 709 version too, add to favorites, and now we've got these all ready to go. Whoa. So now we're doing pretty good with being able to add some stuff. Other quick thing to mention, just because why not? You can also sort of list view if you want this for some reason. All right, but I think most of us are gonna stay in the thumbnail view, and you can adjust the size also, so nice and big. All right, so we want to append this with something, See, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. These fill up ones. Yeah, these fill up ones are fun. They'll be good for this. Fill up two. So you can add these to the current node that is selected just by double clicking. And you see that does just add it to whatever node you had selected. So in this case, it had a selection, which I think that actually looks pretty cool on there, which is a selection. But, but that's not what we want for this. So you can add another one and that will replace it. You can see it did that right there. Or you can remove it by just going to your normal way. Let's no let. Excellent. So you want to add this to a new node so you can just drop it on there. Or you can right click and go append to node graph. And that'll automatically create the new node for you. And now you get it right out there. Now it's looking pretty cool. This isn't what we wanted. We wanted this one. So you can drop that back on. Very cool. And of course, as always with working with LUTs, you are encouraged to dial them back some. So that they are just sort of like some spice on top of your clip instead of doing everything for you so there you go that's pretty nice so now you're feeling pretty good about that but you think boy wouldn't it be nice to see a bunch big screen comparison between each other well resolve has you covered there too so you've got your split screen selection here and you can change it to selected LUTs so we've got a couple different ones here and just automatically updates them very cool we've got all sorts of different stuff let's say you actually want one of these salmon Nero ones Let's go ahead, add that on, and just add it to our node we already had added, so it even had our reduction in it, but we want to make this a little bit more. There we go. People like these ones where it's just sort of a little obnoxious. Yeah. And finally, if you're thinking, that's great, Theo, but I really like the old right-click and, and select from there option. Well, there's a handy new little feature that's a little bit hidden away you might not know about. If you hold down Alt or Option and then right-click, Go to LUTs, and whichever ones you want. We'll do something that isn't Theo's just so people feel included. And you see, I'm still holding down Alt, but it gives you the live update right there. So these are pretty cool too. Look at that. I like that one. I'm actually going to add that to a node beforehand, I think. So Shift S, Alt, because I forgot which one I had, but I remember sort of where it was at. And still holding down Alt. So we've got film looks. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's that's the problem. 
There you go. This looks like the salmon Neurolite crunches up stuff a little bit. Too much for this. So what we can do instead, since I want both flavors, we can add a parallel node, Alt-P, and boy, that's a mess. And then Alt-Right-Click, because now, boy, I do I want that other one on top of it. 3D LUT, Film Looks, and whoop, I think it was one of these two. I like this little cooler one, no, warmer one. So there's that, and then we can bring this down. And I've got the best of both worlds there. Excellent. So I hope you enjoyed this closer look at the new LUT browser inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. It's a great feature. I'm enjoying it a lot. If there's anything about this that I missed that you want to add in, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I know I didn't talk about how to disable live previews, but that's right up here. And as this video comes to a close, I just want to remind everyone again, during these 15 days of DaVinci 15, there is 15% off the MeesterMedia.com slash product store. Just type in the code RESOLVE15 at checkout and you are good to go. As always, if you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel because we've got so much more good stuff coming out. It's pretty excellent. So once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.